And yeah, I did notice that uh, your microphone. Turn your gain down a little bit. Just turn a little it down. Bit to the left. Yeah, okay. and go to the volume on the other side. And do what? And just turn it down a little bit. Turn it down. You mean that way? I don't know. Yeah, we'll find out. All right. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Mm. You know, you think the production crew or whatever, our sound guy, instead of sitting there at the buffet, you think he'd like check all this stuff, turn it on, off, <laughs> right? I we don't have to think wait so. till we say go, go until yeah. it all happens. I heard something about going to Dunkin' Donuts, and that was that. He was out of here. Boom. Right. Free donuts. What's up, pal? How you doing? Well, then I got my one of my. I like it. Yeah. Oh. Sweatshirts. It's very nice. It's, yeah. it's heavy embroidered. It's kind of like those old high school varsity yes, letters. Those yes, yes, letters that you yes. sew onto a sweater. Yeah. Would you wear my sweater with or, a C on it? Who, uh, sure. who went to Ithaca? Uh, my youngest daughter. Nice. Ithaca. So when, major. So when somebody asks you how much did that shirt cost? This, <laughs> this, art, yeah. This sweatshirt. Yeah. It is a very nice sweatshirt. Yeah. It is. And, uh. No, I'm not skinny anymore, and it is a triple X. Uh -huh. And the reason why I could, I would take a double X, but the they make them so that the sleeves are for people with broomstick wrists. Now, wow. I don't have real big wrists. Forget it. I, yeah. couldn't, I couldn't pull them up, so yeah. I had to go with the triple X. Ah, uh -huh. how much did this cost, homie? Well, um, my ex and I, of course, mm. were, you know, Gotta go half and half. Hey, right, come you know, on. And, Absolutely. Uh, it's the right thing. Approximately 320000 post-tax um, Federal Reserve notes. 320000 for a four-year degree. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one expensive shirt. Yeah, so I have three kids, and right. all three are in. Wow. Well, all three we put. You know what? Look, I got to say this. Yeah. I talk a lot. I got to put my money, no pun intended, where my mouth is. Sure, I talk all sure. the time about, are you here in service to yourself or are you here in service to others? Well, guess what? Mm. Charity begins at home, people. And if you have three kids and they're all going to go to college, which I'm not so sure that's the right answer anymore. For some, it's the only answer. And for mm. others, it is not the answer. It is not. Send them to a trade school, and they'll come out, and in 10 years, they'll be making gobs and gobs of money. Without that debt, without, that college debt. debt. But, yeah. you know, it's it's so crazy. Uh, I got lost in my rent. I said, there are three kids. Yeah, but the money. Um, but you know what? And it's, Are you in service to yourself? Yeah, in or? Serve, thank you. That's Thank why, you. That's why I'm here, pal. Me back. I'm like that kite. Yeah, you know, whoa, 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 breaks. whoa. There he goes. Right. In service to yourself, right? If you're in service to others, you'll do everything you can, short of becoming homeless, mm. to put your kids through school. So that when they come out, they don't have uh, a quarter of a million to $500,000 in fucking debt. Mm. The medical students that, that I taught for years, each one of those kids, medical students or kids, right? Between a quarter of a million and $500,000 in debt. Wow. I mean, that's insanity. And you can't escape that. That's not like you you can wish it away or no, some you, special... No, you, you can't. And, and look, at least if you're gonna have a go as a physician, you know, you don't have to make a ton of money a year, but you'll if you just... Play your cards right, you'll eventually pay those loans off. But your your relatives, your parents are going to expect, oh, my daughter, mm. my daughter graduated med school. Oh, and now she lives in a big house in Long Island. Really? Mm. It better be your basement, mama. Because yeah. your daughter or your son isn't going to be able to afford the big house you think she should be in. Those days are over. They're over. Unless, of course, grandma and grandpa and auntie are going to just lavish a couple of million dollars gratis out of nowhere on your kid that graduated med school. Because mm -hmm. doctors aren't ge getting paid what they used to get paid. There's no way. It's wow. a completely different ball game. They actually oh. said, John, that there's more credit, um, more school, student school debt 
than credit card debt in the United States. Surpassed credit card debt. Uh, that's amazing. Yeah. And as soon as they made, a, they made it like, you know, they put it out there that we're going to loan money to kids to go to school, right. blah, blah, blah. I mean, all the college tuitions at least do close to doubled, yeah. you know. Yeah. It, oh, was, yes. it was a great sucker. They reeled us in and then, yeah. uh, you know, that was it. Yeah. You know, now you're paying to the man in one way or another. You know, and as I look at it, John, to me, this whole government thing, it just seems like it's just one big la money laundering. Yeah, you know, take money from A. The whole world. You know what? Eventually, humanity is going to find out that the entire ball of wax is one ball of bullshit. Yeah. Oh, I gave my bullshit button away. Remember that? Yeah. All right. So, yeah, yeah. All right. I mean, so that being said, I mean, look at all this money we give to other countries. I mean... And these politicians write out these checks like it's like it's like they have it in a bank somewhere. It's their own. Yeah. It's like it's theirs. It's not even. Well, the, where's your conscience? The, the real, real sad, sad thing is, if people listen to the mantra of the mainstream media, because because the brainwashing. You can call it MK Ultra, which is mind control with a K Ultra. It's all brainwashing that all of a sudden Putin invades the Ukraine. And now we are the United States of Ukraine, America. And now it's our duty as per the mainstream media, even the, the, the alternate, you know, stream media is that everything is geared toward getting you on board even to go and join and fight with the Ukraine army, army against the Russians? What are you, stupid fucking idiots? Listen, I told you, I went to uh, a, uh, a specialty grocery store a couple months back. And I'm at the checkout, you know, lion. And, and, you know, God bless the cashier. Working there. Trying to make ends meet like the rest of us at this point. And he's by protocol. He is obligated he's mandated to say to every customer would you like to donate to the ukrainian army mm. no why would i why do i want to donate to the ukrainian fucking army when that stupid demented piece of shit lying sack of crap joe biden gave 68 billion of our dollars to the ukraine wow are you kidding wow. I, I mean What's it all about, Alfie? The, the term the swamp and the swamp is deep, it doesn't scratch the surface. It's, it's, it's nowhere near the magnitude of the truth. It's just fucking disgusting. $68 billion. Good Lord. Somebody, oh, wake up the masses. Wake up the masses and, and, oh, and another thing, television commercials. You see the backdrops are blue and gold. Blue and gold. Oh, wait a minute. How come every commercial I see now is blue and gold? How come drug commercials from this company or that? It's on a blue and gold background. Mm. I go to the store to buy a, a scrub brush for my kitchen sink, and they're all blue and gold. I'm like, wait a minute. Hmm. What am I in a fucking nightmare? That's the that's the Ukrainian flag. It, yeah. It's the mind controls coming at us so hard. And every time I'm doing the Instagram, Facebook thing, and you're looking at those video shorts at midnight, it's all of a sudden you see some battle scene, and the caption says, "You know, Russian helicopter blown out of the skies by Ukrainian forces." Guess what? You know what the truth is? No. It's nothing close to that. Nothing close to that. Well, the reporting has kind of disappeared. On the You don't hear about it. You, we used to get like five-minute updates. Right. You know, oh, Russia has invaded here and overtaken the city. And Russia is, you know, and three soldiers yeah. have just, you know, raped an individual. Uh, and Of course. And I only have one thing to say for you idiots that have your mind up your asses regarding the Russian-Ukrainian thing. It's not my idea. I didn't make this up. Just look it up. For God's sakes, people, 
where the hell are the Nazis? Did we defeat the Nazis in World War II? Oh, you think we did? No, 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 no. The Nazis scattered like fucking cockroaches and they went to South America. They went to Central America. Argentina is the big one. They went to Brazil. They went everywhere. They scattered to those places, but where were they invited? With a red carpet? United States, New York City, approximately 3,000 high-level, high-ranking Nazi officials and scientists were given the red carpet to the United States. And shortly thereafter, we find ourselves with fluoride in our city water supply, and no one's told of this? Oh, but it's good for your teeth. Guess what? I'll take my fucking brain and my neurological system over the enamel on my teeth. And if I floss and brush every day... Sorry, guys. Is that... I, it's not Aunt Dolly, is it? <laughs> on her no, daily call? If I floss and I brush my teeth every day with baking soda, which is a terrific thing to use instead of the bullshit with the fluoride in it from the store, you know what? You don't need the fluoride, which is a neurotoxin, in the water. Yeah, the Nazis used to stick it in the water and give it to the people in the concentration camps, the, the victims, the, the, uh, the prisoners, and it, and it kind of messed their brains up. It made them easy to push around and handle. Hmm. Come on, people, wake up. The fucking Nazis haven't gone anywhere. They haven't. As a matter of fact, they've recrudesced, and where are we sending... $68 billion, and Zelensky wants another, what, $1.7 billion a fucking month? For what? For what? Hmm. Go screw yourself, you stupid idiots. Think about what $68 billion and $1.7 billion per month could do for the in infrastructure of our country, to keeping our country strong and sovereign. But, oh, that would be against the new fucking world order. And then you got these commercials that say, oh, the BRICS banks, the BRICS banks, it's, it's uh, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. They've come out with their new gold-backed currency. Therefore, they are the new world order. No, they aren't. The new world order is seated in the Ukraine, my friends. The new world order, the biggest perpetrators of the tyrannical new world order is your very own government in the United States. Hmm. John, how do you feel about the lovely stateswoman, Nancy Pelosi, going to uh, Taiwan? Well, apparently she's not in Taiwan. Not yet. Yeah, well, hmm. you know, look. She's in Singapore. So I'm just t saying what they report today in yeah. Singapore. And tomorrow, the brave states, states lady is going to yeah. defy the Chinese. Right. They're going <laughs> to shoot down her plane. Well, yeah. Look. Look, you know what? I only have one regret that that Anthony Fauci and Adam Schiff um, <laughs> aren't and Chuck on the Schumer aren't on that plane with her. Um, I'd put the Bushes all on that plane too. Get that stupid knucklehead that got placed in Yale, the guy that got through college being drunk. Put thirsty, George John. W. He was thirsty. Put George W. Put W. Put W. On that plane. Hmm. I just, you know what? Oh my God! And, and I gotta tell you, I'm gonna take it for those uh, no lefties are watching this, so I don't even need to address them. Anybody that is anybody that's global, and that would include Donald Trump. What what is their agenda? Are things not good enough for them that they're multi-billionaires? that there's a big club out there and they own the club and you ain't in it, mm. right? I mean, it, that apparently is not good enough for them. So you get these clowns. You get these clowns that aspire to positions of extreme power and, and a corrupt system, which is satanically and Luciferian based, affords them these seats of power. And all these people are in service to themselves hmm. and to their power base. And it can be scary. John, you were in a position to uh, have a power base, right? You were in a position, you worked for an institution. 
and you were the top surgeon there. I mean, did you like throw your weight around when you got the opportunity? Never. I know the answer. That's no, why I'm, never. You know. Why? The reason why I was New Jersey's top pediatric surgeon 14 years ongoing was because I was always in service to others. Hmm. Always, to a fault, in service to others. You didn't expect people to open doors for you and bring you, as soon as you sat down, bring you breakfast? Wow. <laughs> right. <laughs> no? Some, something to wet my beard. <laughs> right. I knew you were thinking. Yeah, right. you know what I mean? I yeah. mean, that, that didn't you know entice you? Power? didn't You didn't feel no. the power and mm -mm. grow strong from it? No. No, you know, God you know, bless you. You know what I envision? Mm. I envision a uh, a new and better day, a new and better existence for all of humanity, all over the place. I said place and not globe, mm. so as not to offend the flat earthers. Um, and no, I'm not a flat earther, but um, I envision a day where. The kingdom of God is brought here on earth as it is in heaven, and I mean that sincerely. Sincerely, and then, and then, upon that moment, that revelation, that recognition that it's that it's here, I just do a fade out. Mm. John Gerard Gallucci in this skin has done his job, and he just. <laughs> But where'd go, he go? Where'd go he go? Off, I go off to another star system and start all over again. Wow. And I roll up my sleeves and I start screaming and ranting and cursing. See, you're they, the kind of guy, John. Up. Yeah, wake up. You're the kind of guy we need somebody to hit that. What would you have done if you hit the second largest jackpot? Jackpot in mega millions. I know immediately what I would have done. Call me. Bought myself a new pickup truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Um, no, Honestly, very sincerely, yeah. uh, my agenda. What was your daydream when you b bought those tickets? Did you buy any tickets? No. You didn't buy any? No. You know, I believe it is another form of taxation. What is? The lottery system. Oh. Because for every $1.2 they give out, they collect another $1.2 already for the government. Then they tax the $1.2 they're giving out. So they're getting three quarters of everything they're collecting. Right. And the top three, the top winners always come from New York, Illinois, or California. Three very That's interesting. lefty states. You know, well, uh, uh, hey, listen, yeah. I'm a conspiracy guy. I'll admit it. Uh, well, yeah. Okay. So, you know, so, so of course, Illinois the only won 1.2 million. The only people who are not conspiracy people are the people that are... In the are, conspiracy. That <laughs> are involved. The, the people in the conspiracy who are basically, you know, factions of the deep state. Yeah. And, and and it's a little bit weird how the lefties never really question the deep state, do they? No, they ever. Always, they always deny that it exists. Yeah, hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hat wear, oh, <laughs> foil hat. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. That's funny. Really? Look at him. Really? Yeah, look yeah. at him. Oh, get a load of fat so over there. <laughs> <laughs> but mama. I guess now they it's sunny that boy. about me. Uh, right. Now, what would, now, John, listen. So you I know, bought. You know it's okay, but we did not do a countdown. We haven't done any lately. Well, I mean, because we just get right into we're it. Chomping at the bit to, to talk. Really yeah. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to break the rhythm. Right. You know, mm -hmm. and especially now that Bones is not here to, you know. Well, he's due back today. Oh, oh, really? Yes. Okay. I hope he's okay. I didn't hear of any attacks. Did you? No, no. All the sharks are safe. You mean he attacked them? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, we might see a picture in one of the newspapers of him riding on one of them. Maybe. I think he said if there was a shark about to attack him, he would just lop his leg off and use and, it as a Yeah, you're supposed to hit the I shark. I don't know how he'd stay over, you know, keep his head above water. Yeah, interesting. Poor well, bones. we'll see. Fun of bones. Soup bones. But, um, yeah, we might have to call him Soupy from now on. Oh Soup God, bones. Geez. But, uh, yeah, so 1.2 billion, one person hit in Illinois. Now, if you did hit, John... Theoretically, yeah. Let's get back. Not to that. not only what would you do, well, how many people would you tell? I got news. I have news for well, you. I think I wouldn't. I think the agencies. 
hell. I don't. Th I think they, they changed the law. It, they leak it to the news, just like something happens and the police know about it. Yeah. And no one's supposed to know when some douchebag at the police department has a contact that's a reporter, and the next day, bah, 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 yeah. it's in the fucking papers. Well, if right. I could, I wouldn't tell anybody. If I had, I would I not tell a soul. You. I don't blame you. I knew it. I'll use this term extremely loosely. I knew a gentleman that hit the New Jersey lottery years ago for $28 million. Ooh. Okay. Not really a gentleman, but when he hit, John, mm -hmm. I couldn't talk for a week because this was not a good person. Mm -hmm. So I was like, how yeah. can this guy, like, as I'm looking up in the heavens, I'm like, why him of all the people? Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, didn't come back where he worked and, like, threw a party. He just disappeared. Gave everybody literally the middle finger and just disappeared. Well. Which I'm okay with that part. That saying, you know, brother. Which is? Satan protects mm. his or her minions. Because I don't think Satan is necessarily binary. Satan wow. shows up in any form. Yeah. Um, you know. about that? You know. Um, Satan owns this world. Oh, and 100%. money is the, the blood flow of this world. Right? Without money, this world ceases to exist. Mm. So therefore, the people who bask in the uh, the luxury and the uh, the opulence of this third... It goes right back to the New Testament. Mm. Follow me, worship me, and all of this will be yours. You know, right? you know the, says to Jesus. the last time I saw this person, John, was a hundred degree day. And I was in a vehicle with no air condition. Mm. All right? And I was at a stoplight. And who pulls up next to me but Mr. Lottery winner, mm. okay? Yeah. In some new Audi or something, yeah. uh, sunroof, air-conditioned, and he's got like a – all of a sudden he's dressing nice. He had like a sweater or a mm -hmm. shirt wrapped around like a real, mm -hmm. you know, tennis. It really looked sure. good, you know? Yeah. And I looked at this person, and we didn't like each other before he had money. And now I, we really don't like each other because I don't have money. Yeah. So we had a few choice words at the intersection. You did? Oh, yeah. And in, my, and in my, I'm not proud of this moment, John, but in my vehicle with no air condition that was ready, i surprised I went over 30 miles an hour. I chased him. You know, we had words. I'm, I'm not proud of this moment. But then I said, what am I doing? Of course, I couldn't catch him. But Because he was in a Lamborghini. Yeah, yeah something like that, <laughs> Ferrari. And my, was, my vehicle was losing parts as I was accelerating, you know, on the floor. But anyway, I heard when that... People used to come to his door with, like, kids and say, listen, this is my sick daughter. Like, because they found out mm -hmm. who he was, yeah. where he lived. Right. This is my sick daughter. She needs this. She needs that. We have no money. He had to move, yeah. you know. And he didn't find happiness because he was divorced, got divorced. After the lottery? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got divorced, yeah. you know. Can't say I feel bad for him. I hope his ex got half of that. You know, I got to tell you what. I know it sounds bonkers, but uh, I really thought that you know, somebody with all the money in the world would be like David Letterman. Mm. But when he was on, that you know, tonight with David Letterman, yeah. he was on night after night after night for how many years? Was oh he my God, so long. Yeah, like whatever. Right? I mean, he was just, you know, you turn that TV on at night and you just heard. Don Pardo, Don Pardo. You know, uh, announcing sure. David Letterman. Then he moved from NBC to CBS or whatever. But when he finally quit, quit. He's a he recluse. Became, he became the Unabomber. Yeah, did you, you know see him mean? with the beard down to here? Yeah, he's yeah. just like, you know, he, yeah. yeah. Do you he's know comedians? Now, he, I thought David Letterman at one time was pretty funny. Oh, yeah. And talented, yeah. right? Sharp, witty, wow. Do you know, look at comedians. A lot of their lives are tragic. You know, they're laughing on the outside, heard, yeah. but inside, you know, they're not so... Look at the guy who used to be on Howard Stern's show, that um, Artie Lang. I don't know. Tragic, tragic, tragic. I love Artie Lang, a Jersey guy. I don't know. But uh, drug addict, depressed, mm -hmm. you know. I can name right. two or three other ones that have, you know, not so easy lives, you know. Right. So I guess when we're in a tragedy, John, I mean, for some of us, humor is the way out of it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, I think I think that a true comedian is really blessed. I think they're as blessed as some elite athlete. I mean, yeah. the way their brain works and their wits and 
They boom, 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 and they understand. I think that they understand the human condition and the human soul mm -hmm. to know what is going to make these people roll. What's going to make them belly laugh yeah. and keep talking about me and coming back and watching me? I mean, what a gift. What I, a gift. I knew a guy at work, John. Every day, this guy came, no matter if it was raining, snowing, 100 degrees, 2 degrees, he came in, hop skipping, and you know, and he, and jump, <laughs> hop skipping to jump. He had a telling jokes, and he was like, oh, you know, look at busting everybody's chops, you know, had the room going. And then, you know, one time we just started talking of not a miserable existence. Mm, Health wise, you know, he, he had a lot of bad luck in his family. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't even want to get into it. And oh, I mean, yeah. but he really, a horrible life. And I'm like, Wow, here's this guy comes around uh, so happy every day, making everybody laugh, telling jokes. Right. And I guess, and then when he goes home, it's not such a happy thing. Pretty tragic. Uh, yeah. It, yes, it, you're right, except, you know, one person's tragedy is not necessarily so for another, right? I mean, I, mean, I look, I, I see calls for prayers and, and help me, help me, you know, all that. I mean, on, yeah. on social media every single day and night. Yeah. And when you scratch the surface and you, you hear the, the tale of woe, usually the social media um, outcry for, for support and prayers, if you scratch the surface, you'll go, wait a minute, wait a minute. My brother-in-law, sister-in-law, she's in the hospital again. Mm. Oh, I need your prayers. And it's like, mm. uh, so my point is this. I think I have a very good understanding of what human, uh, human uh, want and desire is. And I think I have a very good understanding after all of these years of what human grief is mm. and what triggers it and how people handle it or how they don't handle it. Some people melt down and woe is them and the sky is falling and, you know, and it's, it's, everything is going to shit because their next door neighbor's sister-in-law's kid got kicked out of school. Mm. Uh, I, Okay, all right. I mean, so then all of a sudden I, I'm compelled to, but I'll never do it. Okay, let's compare. Hmm. You get your list out and let's look at my list. <laughs> right? Let's yeah. look at my list. And you know something? Um, for the most part, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Do I get upset over? You know what I get really fucking twisted, upset over? And what really grinds my gears are the scumbag elite that are perpetrating the World Economic Forum, the New World Order, the CDC, the FDA, the CIA, the FBI, bada -bip -bop -boop, bada -bip -bop -boop. you're all corrupt now. Fuck you. Mm. It's the truth. I'm so sick and tired of the corruption of humanity. It makes me sick. Do I envy the people that are around me because, because my neighbor's got a Lambo or a Ferrari or a Maserati? No. God bless them. That's what makes them happy. You know something? The most expensive car in the world isn't going to make this guy happy. I'll tell you what's going to make me happy. And it goes back to what you asked me. What would you do if you won the big the big lottery, the 1 1.2 billion 1.2 billion with a B. Okay. You know, 500 million, 1.2 2, 2 billion. Who cares? Mm. I would <clears throat> research and throw together a team and create the world's best resource center to cure and treat autism mm. and to help the families of those who are autistic. Because when I was in medical school and I graduated medical school in 1990, I guess that's 32 years ago. Whew, wow. Autism was, I think, one in like 5,000 live born males. And about a year ago, I thought it couldn't get any worse when I heard it was one in like 68 live-born males. Just a month ago, listen to this, people. Just a month ago, I heard on 
a publication online, a medical publication, that the autism rate was now 1 in 18 live-born males. And wow. they use males because it's much more prevalent in males. Wow. 1 in 18. John, what do you... If, if, what? That doesn't, if that doesn't align so strangely with the depopulation agenda, I don't know what does. Mm. Where is it coming from? And the academic stupid idiots that are my friends and colleagues will say, oh, well, it's, it's obviously a genetic predisposition. Oh, so then you're saying that all the people who have kids that are autistic, it's all a matter of consanguinity. If you don't know what that is, con means with and sanguinity means bloodline. So that means that you're all, you're all screwing and copulating and procreating with your bloodlines, with your sisters and your brothers and your first cousins. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. That's a problem. Something is causing it and it's intentional. One in 18? Everybody Holy you talk to, God. John, everybody you talk to has somebody in their family struggling with autism. And I tell you what, it's one of the most frustrating yeah. situations. Mm -hmm. the, there's no communication. No, and oh. there doesn't seem, you know, and look, a lot of people will say, well, it's uh, this mm. that brings it about. And, and personally, I don't know, but I have dealt with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cases of kids with autism as a pediatric surgeon and the story is always the same should i sing it as a song the story is always the same the song remains the, story the same is always the same they get this and two weeks later they are never the same mm. same story over and over and over again so for you academic shitheads out there and go you scrunch your faces and you go, the science is settled. No, it's not. No, it's not. You've heard me say this before. The science has never fucking settled, you idiot. Mm. Never. Where, where does autism come from at a rate of one in 18 live-born males in 2022? How horrible. So if I won the $1.2 billion lottery, or if I were the king of the forest, <laughs> I would cure autism. And then if I found out where it was coming from, and if I could find that thread and find out where it was coming from, what additive in food or drink or medications or, or whatever, I trace them down. Mm. And I'll leave it at that. Thank you for, yeah, let's not get crazy. But yeah, what a terrible, um, terrible situation that's happened to a lot of parents you know there's so much when you expect a baby being born into this uh, world and you want things to go well and be successful and and when there's an issue like that i mean it's just it's really hard yeah. and parents are very dedicated yeah. uh to to care for the children like that how are they doing research wise john with well to, like because it's at such an alarming rate now is listen, somebody listen, ringing research, the bell listen, research research is just like um well, we got to wait for funding. It's, it's just, no, it's just just like the advertising industry. The advertising industry will take you down a merry path that's this way. Yeah. To, to, to let you think that there's a light at the end of the tunnel going this way. The answer's over here. Mm. The answer's on the other side of the Isn't anybody on the up and up? I mean... Very few uh, people. Be, very few people because there is... There is an evil Luciferian agenda that's pushing all this. It's to kill off God's humanity. It's to reduce the population. That's why I was so thrilled when the Georgia Guidestones hit the shit. Oh, my God. And, yes, that episode of ours was taken down by the platform. Disgraceful. Yes, it is disgraceful. I mean, wow. it's, it's just, it's disgusting. So whatever nudges humanity toward a zero population growth or whatever takes the lives of many many people you should immediately suspect that there's a there's there's foul play behind it either directly or more likely very indirectly and it's been in the pipeline for decades because this is what their agenda is it's not my agenda it's theirs mm, john i'm just going to say where are our heroes where are they? Where is Superman? John, if you had to... I think it's you. Oh. No, I'm, I'm serious, and I mean that very sincerely. 
it's you. It's me. It's We're not looking at Archangel Michael, St. Michael. We're looking at every one of you viewers that's watching us out there. It doesn't matter if you're from India or Australia or China or Burma or the UK or Canada or the USA. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where on the globe. I offended the flat earthers. It doesn't matter where on this planet you guys are from. The superheroes, the heroes are, are you know, it's you. It's like that song, right? What is it? The hero lies in you? Is that right? Are they the I don't know that one. I know yeah, There Goes they're... My Hero. I no, know that song. I think song. it was a Whitney Houston song. Oh, Whitney. Yeah. I like that. So think about that, people. you got to expand your consciousness for god's sakes you have got to take the earth back you got to take humanity back and we have to strive to bring the kingdom of god here on earth as it is in heaven amen and apparently the authorities are not your friend and they don't agree and they are against that agenda because what they want is evil to prevail how legislation evil politicians co-opted and leveraged and blackmailed the educational system wants to take tiny children i consider medical students kids what the hell is a kindergartner through third grade but they want to teach them deviant human sexuality wake up people there shouldn't be transgenders at the local public library giving a talk to little tiny kids and you know something? Shame on you, your mothers and fathers and aunties, if you bring them. Hmm. I would say be very, very leery of the public scholastic system. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's meant to completely uh, engulf your children. And who are behind it ultimately? The Rockefellers and all of their other scumbag elites, which would include George Soros and that little disgusting troll, Henry Kissinger, we can go on and on and on and on and on. But Lord God, please help humanity. There should be an outcry. We should, we should make a call for an outcry, a prayer, a meditation service that lasts 10 minutes. And we should have a time and a date. Look for that, people. Mm-hmm. John, if, yeah, you, had a, if yeah. you had to alchemize... Yeah. I think that's Please. the way to alchemize this one because this one's for the whole ball of wax. Everything. It really, really is. Oh, my God. Lord, God, help us, please, on this planet. And if it sounds like I'm bellyaching and, and lamenting, yes, I am. For me, no. For humanity, we are in the throes of such thick, heavy, deep-seated, deep-rooted evil. It's disgusting. And the only thing that's going to get us out of this alive is the Holy Spirit, people, is the Holy Spirit. And if you're an atheist and you believe that the Holy Spirit doesn't exist, then take your place on the other side of the fence. And you can laugh and scoff when they come for all of us. But then when they come for you, You'll have no shoulder to cry on, hmm. but your own. Oh Lord, and I'm gonna, I am gonna recite my healer's prayer again. Oh Lord, cleanse me. Holy Spirit, fall afresh on me and purify my heart, my mind, my body, my soul. May my spirit carry only love and healing energy. Jesus, forgive me my sins as I forgive others. I ask God to help me assist and heal my brothers and sisters. Holy Spirit, fill this space and fall afresh on us now. May the power of Jesus and the Christ light change me, mold me, use me, heal me, anoint me, bless me, make me an instrument of your peace and love, O Lord and Master, for I give my life to God and the Holy Spirit so that I may serve my brothers and sisters in Jesus' name. Amen. I am in service to others, not myself. Everybody has to emulate that, not because it's me. In body, the Christ consciousness, people, if you want to call it the Krishna way or the krishna consciousness or the the gautama buddha consciousness so be it but do it but now is the time to do it amen amen wow i love that prayer john thank you for this great episode of the jersey alchemist people if you like what we're doing press like press follow and 
subscribe and help us fight the censorship that is choking us out. Yes. Till next time, people. God Peace. bless. Peace.